Good morning. I'm going to be sharing a poem that I wrote for Black History with you all. They say we always have an attitude and we all look, we always look mean. Ghetto, illiterate, a bunch of dead beats and fiends. Uneducated, unmotivated, and far from ideal. So the thought of prospering in life and making a difference seems surreal. Cause every dream seems too big and your homies tell you to chill. The only aspiration that seems achievable is running across a field or maybe dribbling down a court. Cause most of us think we're only good at sports. Black brothers and black sisters, you are more than your physical capability. Realize that you're just as powerful mentally. You come from a history of dreamers, leaders, and believers who valued equality and hope, who fought for your freedom, not so you could be a slave to the dope, but so you could stay woke, follow your heart, speak your mind, and never choke. Educate yourself and never be broke. Black brothers, your struggle is what makes you. Never let it break you. You're no stranger to neglect and to society you're a threat, but it's not because you claim a certain set or wear a bandana around your neck, but because you have the potential to be your best, to beat the odds and lead the rest. They can't relate to your hardships and the stories you tell. They want you heartless and hopeless and stuck in a cell. But the ones who the enemy aims to defeat are the ones who are destined to prevail. My black sisters and baby girls, you can't be anything in this world. You're not limited by your pigment, never conform to society's ignorance. You stand out because you're unique. You're different, your mind is oblique. You're a creative soul, brown and bold, from the tips of your toes to the top of your froze. You are extraordinary, important, very, unstoppable, incomparable, believe in yourself, and to the top you'll go. God gave us a voice to share our joy and share our pain, encourage hope and inspire change. So we will not be phased by the struggles life brings. We'll keep our hands up and our heads up too. Remain humble by all means because God created us, black queens and black kings. Amen.